I'm Josh from eSpares. For anyone who owns a dishwasher, you'll know how brilliant it can be as a time saver. But if your dishwasher isn't cleaning properly, it actually ends up being counterproductive because you end up having to clean your dishes afterwards by hand anyway. So in this video, we're gonna look at various things you can do to stop that happening. Now there are various products available, including cleaning salt, detergent, and rinse aid. So the first question is, why do we use salt in a dishwasher? Well, the reason is to actually allow the detergent to work properly. It softens the water, and this means that the detergent can work at its most effective. Make sure that you use actual dishwashing salt and not table salt because it can damage the machine. So if we just take this bottom rack out here. The salt goes in this compartment here. So if you just unscrew the top, and you can't really put too much salt in the dishwasher. Um, so just fill it right up to the top. You might get a bit of salt and water spill out, but that's okay, you just clean it up. And then once you've done that, replace the cap on the top. And if you make sure that the water softener is really well topped up with salt, it'll keep your detergent working at its most effective. Um, it's also a good idea to only put salt in your dishwasher when you're planning to use it. Uh, you don't want salt spilling out and sitting on the metal where it might corrode. So that's salt. Um, in terms of detergent, there's a huge choice available, um, starting with quite the basic uh, type, such as this one, which is just the detergent itself, um, going up to products like this, um, which are an all-in-one, and as well as using detergent, also contain um, the salt and the rinse aid. Um, if you've gone for a product such as this, um, and it contains salt, um, it's a good idea to put salt in your machine anyway if you live in an area that has particularly hard water. You want that water to be really soft so that your detergent can work well. Um, if you've gone for a product like this one which doesn't contain any rinse aid, that's okay. Um, most dis dishwashers these days allow you to add rinse aid yourself um, and you can change how much rinse aid is being used um, during a cycle. Um, what does rinse aid actually do? Um, it's designed to help the water run off the glassware and the crockery and it stops those horrible streaks from appearing. And you add the rinse aid in this compartment here, which contains a little dial um, that allows you to adjust how much rinse aid is being used during the cycle. If you're getting those really nasty streaks appearing on the glassware, that means you haven't got enough rinse aid, in which case you just turn the dial up and if you're getting um, a nasty milkiness or even a blue film appearing on the glasses, that's probably a sign that you've got too much rinse aid in the cycle, in which case, just turn the dial down again. So the next area we're gonna look at is the filter assembly. Now the filter assembly is designed to stop any large bits of food from either getting into the pipes or from recirculating around the dishwasher. So if we just unscrew the top of the assembly, and take this part off here. Inside we have the filter and the filter mesh. Now obviously you're gonna have lots of bits of food trapped in there, so give it a swill out under the tap, make sure all the blockages are cleared away. Um, if there's any tears or holes in the mesh, that's obviously gonna make it much less effective, so that can be really easily and inexpensively replaced. And once you're happy that that's all clean and clear, just pop it back in like so. Now an area that's often overlooked with dishwashers is actually making the best use of the space that's in them. Um, if I just put the bottom rack back in, the top spray arm here needs to be able to spin completely in, in the dishwasher, it can't be blocked. Um, but obviously, if there is something sticking up, it's gonna stop it from spinning and that's gonna make it much less effective. So make sure you haven't got anything sticking up from the bottom rack that's gonna get in the way of the top spray arm. Um, and most dishwashers actually allow you to raise the height of the top rack to give that extra clearance for the spray arm to move completely. Um, similarly, make sure there aren't any cracks in the bottom of the cutlery basket, because then this could allow the cutlery to fall through and block the spray arm in the bottom of the dishwasher. Now if you've got any damaged parts in your dishwasher, a lot of the time it's actually caused by lime scale. Um, and for this we recommend a part such as this, 
which is our very own eSpares lime scale and detergent remover. Um, it's really simple to use, you use it about once a month um, and you can either just empty a sachet into your empty machine and put it onto a hot cycle or for a really effective cleaning method just dissolve the powder into a spray bottle and then spray the solution on any of the really badly affected areas and then pour the rest of the solution into the dishwasher and put it onto a hot cycle. If you have got any uh, damaged parts in your dishwasher, um, they can all be very easily replaced. The uh, rack, the spray arm, the cutlery basket, um, the dispenser drawer as well. Um, and they're all available on the eSpares website. Um, and you can see me changing all of these parts in various other eSpares videos. Thanks for watching.